a huge shout out to all my sponsors. Thank you guys so much. You guys mean everything to me, and thanks for sponsoring this channel. Hey everybody and welcome back to Spars Outdoors. Uh, this is going to be your fishing report at 6 o'clock. Let's talk about that in a minute though. At 6 o'clock tonight I'm going to do that veterans giveaway. Some lucky veteran is going to win that bow package, the grunt call from Fat Dog Outdoors, and a turkey hunt with me. Uh, and thanks for all your services and, and things that you have done for this country to help us be free and to help us do the things that we get to do. And... I just want to give back a little bit so that giveaways tonight at six make sure you stay tuned i'll be youtube live uh i'll see you guys there but let's get right into the fishing report let's start off let's start off south okay let's go south down by the spillway area lots of fish have shown up in there so you've got your pike they're coming up they're going up the creek to spawn right so they're going to head up that river system there at the spillway and go up to spawn uh the steelhead same thing I haven't heard good numbers of them, but I know a few guys have poked away at a few nice, very nice steelhead up there, actually. Uh, one, one of my buddies got an 11-pounder. That's a pretty big steelhead catching the river as they're, as they're first entering. You get bigger, yes, but that's a big one, you know. A um, few walleyes I've heard have been being caught right out there, but I heard the water's getting dirty, which that's a good thing. That's going to warm, when the water gets dirty, it warms things up, right? So um, the perch fishing right there has kind of died off. It's hit or miss. I know there's a few guys picking away at them. Now, I know if you can get into, the, like, the Harbor Club and some of them harbors down there, you can pick away at perch and gills right now. Um, down by Nine Mile, they're getting good perch. So, uh, that's some good fishing down there. I'm talking shore fishing here, you know. Uh, come back a little bit farther towards the north from there, over by the Clinton River. Steelhead, same thing as last week. You know, they are getting steelhead in the river. You got to fish for them. You got to know your spots. You will get steelhead. Um, it's, it's that time of year, and you're going to start getting better and better runs of the steelhead too you know along with the suckers are going to start going up there pike as well you know the pike they they all spawn pretty much the same time the steelhead kind of go first and then the pike and the suckers they, they're kind of at the same time so getting them to feed once they go into spawn though is a hard thing to do so you want to get them right now before they go uh come back a little farther north let's get down to the uh fairhaven area before i head over to the harrison Island area. let's get let's get right into the fairhaven area perch fishing is great uh, the water muddied up. Everybody thought the fishing was going to suck, and it didn't. It, it helped it out because that warm water, it helped warm things up. Now, there is it, this cold front has messed a lot of things up. There is ice forming in front of the raft again, but it's not safe ice. That, that'll be gone today. It'll be, it'll be melted away today and, and gone for sure, you know. We got a warm up coming up. The heavy rains are going to help us. Trust me, them heavy rains are going to help us. Once things start flowing, the creeks start flowing, fish start going up creeks, water temperatures start changing, vegetation starts to grow. It's going to help out with a lot of the perch, a lot of the crappie fishing. Uh, those private canals in there right now, um, full of crappies. I know a buddy that lives on one of those canals down there. He did really well on crappies yesterday. So I'm going to be trying that out here pretty soon. I can't within the next couple days, but I'm going to try it pretty soon. I've already got plans. So, But I want when I hear crappies, I like to get on them. So... It's a private canal. Um, I'm sure you guys will know when I make a video there where it's at, but it's there's some crappies in there. Now, let's head over to Harsons Island. A lot of people think that it was getting, it was slowing down and, and they were gone. No, they're, they're not. It's only going to get better, okay? The great big numbers of great big master anglers fish, they're still around. You just got to find them. Uh, I had a buddy over there yesterday. He caught a bucket full of absolute tanks. His 25 bluegills were all 10 11 inch bluegills Them were all monster bluegills period no matter what anybody says they're monsters so uh day before they didn't do so good so there's hit or miss days move around don't go where everybody's at don't fish don't fish because you see a crowd of people go somewhere else you'll find fish that's how harson's island is right now go where the people ain't and you'll catch fish period you don't have to fish that same little cut that everybody's fishing either Bounce around, go find some new cuts and fish them. They hold fish. You can have some amazing perch and crappie fishing in spots that nobody's even fishing. 
So Harrison's Island is full of fish, still a good place to go and take your kids, take your family and go catch some fish right along where everybody's fishing. If you enjoy fishing around people, hey, it's a good time. Everybody usually catches something. You know, you don't go home skunk. You have a great time. So Harrison's Island, still on fire. Don't let anybody tell you different. Uh, you're going to have your slow days and you're going to have your and you're going to have your great days. That's just how it's going to go. As this weather warms up, that water temperature is going to warm up. Things are going to ramp up. The crappies are going to start feeding more into there. They're going to start coming in to spawn. You want to get them before they spawn you know that's just that's the way it goes so same thing with the perch there was everybody's been getting perch getting perch getting perch but the big numbers of big perch have not showed up yet that's yet to come over on harrison's island so let's just get off the island come right down here into the port here on area st Clair river area i should say um down in marine city let's start there i do got something going for you guys there they're out trolling the cohos in front of the power plant down there so and, and and all along through there so if you've got a outboard engine and you like to go trolling cohos they're getting them uh, uh marine city and i guarantee you they're gonna it, i would i wouldn't be scared to just say heck with marine city and go straight to st Clair, launch out of the pine and head right to the first power plant right there on your right and and, and troll all in front of that you know you will get coho steelhead uh, occasional brown walleyes you can even jig walleyes there they're getting walleyes jigging there too so great great place to go fishing Come down into the port here on area. The jigging is is going good. It's all them local fish, okay? It's your local fish. You're gonna pound away on those fish no matter what. And there's gonna be slow days, there's gonna be great days. And it seems like the crappier the weather, the better the fishing right now for jigging those walleyes. And uh that's just how it's going. Uh head into Jay's Marine Hardware. You know, I got a shirt on right here. Head into Jay's Marine. I got all my sponsors on here too, but head into Jay's Marine. Uh, he's got your Emerald Chiners, the, the Walleye Emerald Chiners. He's got your Thumpin' Plastics. He's got your John Latham Customs. I don't know how many he has. John just dropped them off. All my Spar Specials flew off the shelf, and everything else is flying off the shelf. I don't know how many Latham Customs he has left, but I know he's got an order coming in. I know he's got an order for uh, Thumpin's coming in as well. Uh, Dead End Tackle, their uh, one-ounce jig heads are up there. They got they amazing jig heads, amazing jig heads. Head to Jay's Marine Hardware. Tell them you're a subscriber to Spars Outdoors, and they'll lead you right to what you guys need to catch those fish. Um, across on the Canadian side has been better for the walleyes, absolutely better for the walleyes. The 12th Street boat ramp is in. The Water Street, at the foot of 12th there, the, there's one boat ramp in, so that's good for you guys. Um, that that need a dock to launch, you know, that's that, they've got one dock in there. So I don't know about Marysville yet. I think they, I think they have one in. I think they do have one in. I, I heard they did, but don't quote me on that. Um, whipping starting to pick back up again, you know. Um, it's only going to get better. Smelt season for the big basket nets opens up tomorrow. We're going to be down there. We're going to try that out. I don't know if we're going to try right tomorrow, but everybody's wondering about smelt, and this is the time to go. Actually, if you could have got down there a week ago, you would have did well, but we're not allowed to throw our baskets in until the 20th. You're allowed to use a dip net, but not the baskets. But the smelt are there, Okay. So put in your time, put in your effort, and you will get some smell. Ain't like it is back when I was a kid and you'd fill buckets and truckloads, but you'll get enough for a meal, and that's all I care about. I like to come home and I like to eat fish fresh, and smelt are one of my favorite. So um, along the boardwalks, the cohos, they're really starting to take off. I called this a week ago, and, and I told you guys. The cohos, the steelhead, the lakers, the whitefish, you're going to start catching those fish along the boardwalks, running your red eye spoons. Um, noodle rods with the metals work good, but the farther uh, north you go, you got to use the two pound weights and the slide downs, you guys know. Um, if you don't know, uh, I'll, do a, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll do a whole video on that as well. If you guys need to, if, just let me know that you don't know what I'm talking about with the big heavy rods with the two pound weights, and I'll do a video on how to set those up. So, Coho, Steelhead, Atlantics. Uh, Lakers, whitefish, and walleye, it's it's all about to happen. Next week's going to be even better, I promise you. After that river start, stops flowing out that dirty water and, we, and, and it starts calming down, and then we get that rain and it dirties it up again, that's when the fish are going to go absolutely insane because the metals start flowing out of Black River and swimming up along those boardwalks. happens every year since I've been a kid. It's happened every year probably since before I was born, I guarantee it, you know. But it's, it's going to be great fishing for here in the next week and a half for those fish. You're going to have to put in your time and your effort. You ain't going to go down there and just pound on fish. I'm not telling you that. But you will get fish and you'll get enough for a meal. And that's all I care about. Let's go a little farther north. Let's head up there to Lexington. Everybody has been pounding and pounding and pounding Lexington after they've seen my video. I caught it on a couple good days. They were in there feeding on those minnows and I pounded the, the, I pounded the fish pretty good. Um, I went up there three more times. I've caught two. Uh, 
in, in the last three times I went. It's very, it's slowing way down. They're in and out. Now they're getting them outside the harbor trolling, but they will come back in. There's going to be days you go up there and you do really well, and then there's going to be days you go up there and you do really bad. And I don't care what any of the other YouTubers are saying, it, it's slow right now. I mean, if you're fishing eight hours to catch two fish, if that's your thing, hey, that, that's your thing. Go ahead and go put eight, ten hours in to catch two fish or go put eight, ten hours in to catch no fish. Hookups don't mean nothing to me. What I, what, what I like is that fish on the bank. So when that fish is on the bank, that means I'm going home to clean that fish, right? Right. So um, you guys want to fish for them? It's a good time to fish for them. They are there. You could go up there and have the, the time of your life and pound them real quick. You could go up there and you could have a bite here and there, or you could go up there and have nothing. It is just that time of year. They're in and out of that harbor, and pretty soon the steelhead are going to be going up the creeks to spawn. As these creeks flow water out, they're going to go up to spawn. It's that time of year. They are going to head up to lay their eggs. Absolutely, it is that time of year. And a lot of those fish do spawn in the harbor, but a lot of them leave and go up the local creeks to spawn. That's just how it goes absolutely how it goes now the cohos you're going to start seeing more and more of those show up in the harbor and that is going to be fun fishing everybody knows how to catch those cohos and it's going to be a great time and that's going to get better give it a week and it'll be even better so same thing with port sandalac and harbor beach harbor beach has had the better fishing harbor beach is holding some fish right now if you want to head up to harbor beach that's where you're going to catch more of your fish and the little inlet that comes in there uh, you guys that didn't know the spot know the spots to go um the little inlet, the boat marina, there's there's good fishing in there. Out in front of that boat marina on that north seawall where it splits off, fishing right in that mouth where you can shoot out to go north with your boat. That's a good area to fish for them right now. There's also a few lake trout around. Uh, a few, there's more Atlantics there than, than any other harbor right now. So, But the steelhead and the cohos are, are going good right there too. So let's head north to Caseville. The lake trout, they're still getting lake trout. Not as hot and heavy as they were, but they're still picking away at lake trout. I'm not even going to get too much into that. Let's head right up into the river, into the sea wing area, Quantica Sea, okay? There's perch around. Water got dirty. Water's real muddy. When that cleans up, it's time to go. I'm going to tell you guys that right now. It is time to go. As soon as that water cleans up, it is time to go up there and get those perch. Um, there's still crappies in the marina, but right now everything is really dirty and expected to be dirty for a few days. We got another rain coming, so probably three, four days after that cleans up you'll start getting really good numbers of perch. I promise that that's going to happen. It's going to happen real soon. So um, that's all I have for you guys this week for the fishing report. Um, hit that like, hit that subscribe. If you're not subscribed, I got that veterans giveaway tonight at six. You guys don't want to miss that. I'll be live right here on YouTube, uh, giving back to the people that give their all for us. So thanks everybody again for watching Spars Outdoors.